Well, guys, you uh, did a full completion now on that Operation Snowflake build. Um, you know, we did a lot of build up coming to this build. Uh, you know, we never really tested any parts to make sure fitment was gonna right. gonna actually you know be perfect and everything. So there's a, a lot of room, I guess, for failure. Uh, but you guys kicked ass. It actually completed this whole thing ahead of schedule. We uh, planned on doing two and a half, three days. You know, uh, finishing up today and everything. But you guys kicked ass the entire time, even through the weather yeah. that we had, and uh, actually finished it up early. Got it done about seven o'clock last night. Just kind of buttoned up the last little bit here and there. Yeah. So how, how'd the build go for you guys? Um, it it was good. Uh, everything was went pretty decent. It was all easy going. Um, bringing bringing two shops together that really have never worked together or did anything together is hard in itself. Yeah. So uh, real quick, uh, this is Matt Fraley uh, from uh, Widowmaker Diesel, and we have Hunt out of Pennsylvania, and then we have uh, Hunter Emmon from Sick Nasty Diesel or Diesel Performance out of uh, what Mayfield, Mayfield Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. And yeah, I think uh, you guys met for the first time last year yeah. at this event at our yeah. trailer and kind of hung out a little bit, yeah. but never worked together at all. No. And uh, so yeah, having you guys together for the first time, you had uh, a couple guys here with your crew. Uh, you brought yourself in some roller toolboxes, yeah. nothing special. We didn't have a lift uh, for any of this. You guys busted out transmission, uh, exhaust system, uh, airbags. Uh, wheels, tires, injectors, compound kit, uh, twin CP3s, I mean, bumpers. You got a, a shit ton of stuff in this build, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, not like a, a live build where it's yeah. just doing accessories and wheels and tires, man. It was it was a, it was a legitimate six, seven hundred, hundred horsepower towing build. And, uh, you know, like what you're saying is having two shops that have never really worked together. On top of that, then you have CW wraps wrapping this truck as you guys are underneath the truck and under the hood. And so you have like, six legs hanging out underneath the it truck yeah you, you know it was, it was busy, busy. Yeah. and you had three guys from uh, cw run around wrapping the truck and then of course you have myself and a few other uh, other of our media team guys taking pictures go, doing live video getting in your way trying to help out but probably just <laughs> fucking things up for you <laughs> it, it was fun though it was very everybody fun. seemed to work really really well together yeah. that whole group i yep. mean everybody together we just focused on the end goal and got it to go, I mean, it just, it just worked. Right. Went together like smoking pancake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I expected at one point or another just being, you know, we're in like a 40 foot, you know, 40 by 40 or 40 by 30 or something like that uh, spot and with having like three or four toolboxes uh, along with uh, just a array of parts laying on the ground and different tables for assembly shit. And, Wrap chairs. And, uh, yeah, wraps and, <laughs> and all that stuff kind of all being together and, you know, that's, and plus the, uh, a 25 foot truck you know this 40 foot space is getting smaller and smaller and smaller i was expecting at one point in time for someone to get pissed off and yell at each other or throw a fucking <laughs> wrench or something but it never seemed like uh anything got progressive no, at all there was it no was hostility at smooth. all there was just great. end goal i mean that, that we put a goal in mind and you know we exceeded it so that's, we, that's yeah, what we, we were trying to get to done do. and play yeah. <laughs> yep. You had a few guys and everything uh, to help out doing a lot of stuff underneath the truck and everything. So I tried jumping in there and helping Hunter every once yeah. in a while when I could, and you know, kind of going back and forth uh, between the track and here. And, and it almost was a good thing for the build that it was kind of rainy and shitty outside because it shut down that track, so I could actually, yeah. you know, help out to a degree here. I just kind of messed things up for you. And <laughs> the, the weather was you know, add a little time to your build, yeah. but whatever. We, we were pretty much soaked every day. I yep. mean, that was probably the worst part, which yeah. is being wet. 50 yeah, degrees, damp, you know, we tried our best, uh, you know, knowing it's gonna be rainy, we got some plywood on the ground and then wrapped it with carpet and everything to get you, you know, elevated off the ground a little bit, but the, sort of acted the, as the a moisture, yeah, the <laughs> yeah. moisture in the air just dampened the carpet, so yeah. it's just as, almost just as bad. Uh, but then you look over the brimstone truck and there was like two inch puddle underneath yeah. that one, so. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like going back to the startup days, you're working in the driveway, just trying yeah. to make a buck. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> raining, snowing yeah. on you that matter <laughs> yeah uh, did you guys run into any issues or kind of problems kind of in this build man nothing major uh, I was doing the of course we're all emissions compliant mm -hmm. um, we left everything intact we didn't touch a bolt we didn't loosen anything move anything um, so yeah you kind of work in the engine bay there yeah and uh, so you had the ATS vortex compound kit yeah. the ATS twin CP3 kit um, and then what else? You had the industrial 60 horsepower injectors, mm -hmm. 
and yeah, you didn't have to touch any emission stuff to even get it off. Uh, no. ATS designed their kit pretty well, it seemed. Dude, it was um, butter. It was yeah, butter. just kind of yeah. butter. It seemed like that fell in in a couple hours. Yeah. Like, you know, taking out the factory, you know, downpipe connection there, yeah. out of the wheel well, a little tight Fair, there. Fairly easy, you yeah. know, it's coming. It's uh, missing a couple cylinders, it's in a straight line. I'm not real sure what's going on there, but. <laughs> yeah, you almost had to run to the industrial booth, let them know that yeah, uh, we're missing, missing two injectors. Missing two injectors here, guys. <laughs> Uh, but no, as far as you know, the the dual uh, dual CP3 kit. Um, it's I twin CP3 kit, by the way. Twin CP3 kit. This is ATS. Kit. Yeah, it's ATS. Twin CP3. Um, is installing that thing. Of course, my OCD kicks in. I want to put the pump, you know, straight up like you're installing in a Valley of a Duramax. Right. I'm putting it with in. the uh, actuator plugged yeah. in, pointing up. Yeah, and we've got the exhaust pipe coming from the EGR, and I come over to Matt. I'm like, is this for emissions compliant? <laughs> you know, because that's what we're doing. Yep. You're like, yes. I was like, well, something's not Are right. Are you sure? Like, yeah, ATS so, designed this kit for emissions. Me, you know, trying to figure it out. Uh, I think you went back to the directions. Yeah, I, I, because I, I, I ran over like to the ATS booth, like, like, hey, we're having an issue. Is there a different an EGR, like, crossover <laughs> pipe? Is like, what do you guys have? And uh, as soon as I looked over there, I saw that it was clocked 90 yeah. degrees. Like, oh. Yeah. And then so, uh, went and, like, oh, the picture showed it, too. We're retarded. Once we figured that out, <laughs> clocked it, rebolted it up. Dropped right in, bolts hit right. the holes, smooth. Yeah. And I mean, Can't everybody needs to know that like this stuff happens. Oh, yeah. yeah. And sometimes oh, yeah. you got to refer back. You got to figure it out. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's, there's, you can't blame anything like that. I mean, it's not like anything got fucked up, but uh, no. there's so much happening in this booth, yeah. especially that day. That was day one. Yeah. And yeah. so much happened, and we're trying to figure out time restraints. We're trying to figure out where placement of people need to be. Day one is when the wrap company was in here. Uh, you know, so there's so much going on. It's easy to get distracted on yes. such a small little detail yes. like that. Yeah. And um, you know. And we no tore it down deal. fast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, teardown was, was like ripped apart. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. uh, what is before noon, and we had oh, yeah. you know transmission out, transfer case, drive lines. I think uh, I was dropping uh, turbo was in. out. I want to say injectors were getting swapped out. Fuel tank, fuel yep. tank was out. Yep. Uh, and everything went smooth, I and mean, there, there was no, you know, modifications. Or we got to move this, cut this. Re you know, it, it all just it fell in place. And like I said, uh, the mission's intact. You know, that's where we're headed. Yep. So, like, like I said, didn't have to touch a thing. Left it all intact, uh, and everything just fell right into place. Yeah. What do you guys think about the uh, the wrap setup? It's awesome. I like <laughs> the wrap. Turned out pretty good. Yeah. Should have brought my truck. <laughs> We had talked about that, yeah, yeah. Uh, possibly having a, a third truck of rapid But now, now I'm kind of eyeballing a uh, gold and white Denali. A what? A uh, gold and white Denali. Gold and I'm white eyeballing Denali, that eh? thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we might just drop that LML of mine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, guys, I appreciate everything you guys did. Uh, you know, coming out here in the elements, uh, I don't know, it was eight hours from home for you, six hours from, five, you know, yeah. five hours, something like that. Yeah. And uh, basically just living on the back of the trailer with, yeah. you know, the tools that you brought, yeah. a small air compressor, um, you know, just rolling box of the tools, nothing specialty, which yeah. is nice for this build is yeah. that uh, everything on this isn't custom. It's something that we can buy off the website, um, you know, and, and you can add it in, you know, whether it's on your driveway, obviously you can do it really anywhere. A, a lot of people could, could do all this. I right. mean, you know, there's, it's not hard. Right. It, it, you just have to go through it and set a goal and get it done yeah yep. you know just take your time obviously uh read the directions yeah uh, don't <laughs> assume <laughs> yeah and it's been a you know an evolution with both you guys um seen it over the years i you know how long you been with us matt like probably eight years eight years something like that and right. you're rolling same. around that same yeah, time frame. eight years yeah you know, i've been uh you know one of our uh east coast preferred installers and uh you know always had uh, great reviews on you guys' work. You take a lot of pride and passion in what you guys do. Yes. Um, you know, I remember talking to you shit back, <laughs> what, probably 2010, 2011. Yeah, back right when I was that kid. When you were, yeah. yeah, that, that kid <laughs> that, you know, uh, I'm trying to make my make my name in the motocross world and and uh, doing the East Coast Supercross yeah. 250 class, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, you, uh, you hooked me up big time there. Yep, sponsored you, uh, yeah. I think it was a neck brace or something. Neck brace, and, all kinds of goodies. Yep, and you were doing uh, installs at the back of your, uh, your van. Yep. At the, yeah. <laughs> you know? and, yeah, moto uh, van, the old uh, moto MRU. Van. Exactly, <laughs> and uh, you know, both you guys have uh, progressed and everything, and, and yeah. shops and employees and, and lifts, and, and uh, you know, tools aren't cheap, and trying nope. to, you know, 
make a name for yourself in the industry yeah, is, is a big deal. It's definitely it's a hustle. Yeah. It's a hustle. <laughs> it's yeah, a you're hustle. always working. <laughs> You know, you could have uh, taken a break and had a weekend off, but no, you're out yeah, here no. busting your ass in the cold. And yep. well, now today, whenever it's all complete, it's the nicest day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how it works. At least we get to play today, you know. Exactly. Yeah. The sled poles are going to start here in a little bit and some just massive BC trucks out there. And, and uh, it's going to be some carnage, I know. There's, oh, yeah. There's oh, yeah. always carnage yeah, out there. For sure. There was a lot Enough yesterday. shops are lagging behind in the points. that like, only way to do anything is get full pull. Send it. Send it. Send it. <laughs> right on, guys. Well, again, I just want to uh, say how much I appreciate you know this being my personal truck and everything. Uh, you guys being able to come out and uh, busting your ass and, yeah. and doing what you guys did, and there was no shortcuts taken in this. It wasn't like, well, it, just make it you know look good and uh, you can fix it later, man. It's it, yeah. it runs and moves. I mean, runs yeah. and moves doing. Yeah. What you guys did in that short period of time, you know, I could drive home 2,000 miles right now and I wouldn't yeah. have any issue with it. Right. Um, but I'm going to fly out because I don't want right. to drive that 40 hour trip. It's too far. So. Well, right. I really appreciate the opportunity. Yes. It's awesome. Yes, yeah. thank you. Would you guys do this again next year? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No hesitation there. I was surprised. <laughs> like, I was just waiting for, like, <laughs> you know what? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be here. You do it all week, <laughs> long, like, man. Nope. Do it all week. Wasn't too bad for you guys, man. Nope. <laughs> Right on, guys. Well, uh, uh, let's go enjoy the rest of this event and um, see how she goes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.